We gonna get it to the real when y'all come up over here, man. So put your big boy pants on when you come over here, folks. For real. Put your big boy pants on and we gonna get it to it straight like that, folks. But definitely hit that like button for the boy if you're here for a good time, not a long time. You ain't here to stay. Hit that like button, man. V. Lloyd. Gang, man. What's good with y'all, my people, man? I'm I'm here and, and again. I know I know the lifestyle that he lived. I know the lifestyle that he lived. Uh, we ain't we ain't condoning none of that. We ain't condoning it from from him. We ain't condoning it from nobody else, man. We supposed to love each other, and clearly the world ain't glorifying that. That's not what they showing, man. So some of the things that I'm gonna say right now to make it seem as though like I'm being vi biased towards Vaughn. In reality, it's just for the love that I got for Vaughn. I got for everybody, not just for my side, for both sides, man. And I got a message from. I can't speak too in depth as to who the message is coming from because people want their safety uh, at the end of the day. Not everybody um, will speak out, you know, and I'm not th trying to show, throw any shade, but not everybody willing to put their life on the line for truth or to put other people's truth out. So, you know, uh, a lot might need to be said in this time, man. So, again, put y'all big boy pants on, v Lloyd gang, value Christ over your life, gang. We here today, man. What's good with y'all? Um, yeah. First off, I, I want to get back into how these these rappers, the the, the death of a rapper, it, it won't stick like like the death of someone that you that is in your family member unless you know them, man. And that's why my pain and my passion is not only fueled by Vaughn's death, but you know, this is kind of the, was the tipping point in getting me to come out here, uh, putting my voice out here and letting people know what's truly going on behind the scene. Because these things, you can't even, you can't see these things through the uh, flesh, man. You have to be spiritually um, enriched and to be able to understand the warfare. It, it takes a, not only that, it, it takes a lot. You got to uh, Make yourself comfortable being uncomfortable because a lot of the information that you will put yourself, will that you will welcome into yourself, it ain't familiar to your conscience. It ain't what they've been teaching us this whole entire um, time. It ain't what uh, we should uh, understand. We only understand what the world wants us to understand, man, and um, let me pause this. Not pause, but I'm skipping it. But yeah, man. So it, it can get very, very hard for us to 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 really look and be mindful of situations the way that we are supposed to, because there's a lot of things going into our de uh, deceit, and not only our deceit, but desensitizing us to the situations, man. But I, when you look at Vaughn's situation, man, again, do it look like? something that was just happened organically or do it look like something that was pre-planned and then when you look at um i know how people look at and they, and they tend to uh say like man when somebody grow up with somebody there's no way that they'll do this and they'll do that but to get right into with Vaughn, uh with the person who reached out it is a family member i won't say what um you know i won't say the relation because I don't even want to put that out there. But it is a family member of Vaughn, man. And they said that they know for certain, for certain, um, that uh, three members that is supposed to be O-Block, not supposed to be O-Block, we know they O-Block, three, three O-Blockians, you know, who was uh, supposed to also, too, had knowledge as to what was supposed to go down that day, man. And this person really wants to come out and they want to speak. But again, man, they don't want their life to be threatened or, or or taken or maybe um it could be someone that you know people they take you you never know what somebody has going in their life you somebody might be taking care of somebody else and they don't want to leave them out to the world because they know how the world will swallow you whole if you ain't got a, a strong person to guide you in all your ways and your understanding so man i don't i don't i don't know what to say i wish that this person would come out because it would be more powerful for y'all to hear it from them than to hear it through me but yeah man they said it's uh a lot of things that is happening that i had said a lot of things that i have said to clear that up was true so it's kind of telling y'all something without telling y'all something man look 
at those who are, are, are being shot up like a rocket right now, man, and understand what Illuminati, what they do to people who are like us. And, 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 and I hold, I hold wanting to rap and, and, um, be seen as to, uh, for the materialistic things. But once you get that little bit of fame, you get those eyes looking upon you, it becomes, uh, um, something that you need because you, you feel like, uh, this is, is empowering you and fame can empower you. Fame and money empowers us. And sometimes fame and money for, for some people, not for some, but for a lot, it's, it has to, I think there is divine reason and why the most high said what he said about the eyes of a rich man getting into a, uh, uh, getting into heaven, heaven, a, a camel have a, um, a better chance at walking through the eye of a needle. Forgive me for my speech. But you get where I'm going with it. And I think it has a lot to do with uh, uh, the things that people would do to keep the money once they have it. The things that people do when, with the power that they have, that the money have built them up. Because you can pay uh, uh, to not be seen. Like we can see in a little dirt trial and the, when I, um, he was there and uh, things like that. But all of a sudden... Uh, he gets his case hold swipe clean, and then they say that Vaughn would have been the one who would have been arrested. It's just a lot of uh, things that money can't buy you. It's a lot of things that power, because uh, really, it's the power. But when you can build the money, it's also, you know, in small areas, it can get you with uh, the power. You know, power can get you the same. But yeah, that's just a whole other story. I ain't really trying to go off into that, man. But yeah, he wanted, um the person wanted me to come out here. And they wanted me to just talk about this and put this out here. And I wish that I could say their name, but they don't want these people out here steady living um, off of uh, what they have done to Vaughn, man. They know they rose from them and, and I feel this way too, but they know that it was a sacrifice, not only for uh, or for, for, for Vaughn's soul, but for these people to move up in the rankings. And the thing is, man, Satan, he will do the same thing that he done to, to Vaughn to them. And that's what we need to wake up, understand and um and then and that's crazy because he i'm steady saying a he so obviously y'all probably know it's a he but yeah man um that is another message that they wanted me to say that y'all who are a part of whatever went down that if y'all got this from satan and only y'all would know then if he did it to Vaughn, what y'all think that they would do to y'all man when y'all time is up it's all about understanding that man if somebody would do it to somebody you love and they don't really know you why what makes you think they won't do it to you once they are done with you man and that's really what they do to most of us man and that's why you see the stories come out after they are gone or you know when they are um when they won't comply then they use the stories that they already know most of these things that they just keep for leverage to get to gain um more control to put you in fear to to uh, uh make you do and and that's really just what it is man but value Christ over your life game, man. I hope that um, y'all stay in prayers out here, man. Stay in prayers and, and stay rooted in truth, man, because it's hard. Uh, it's easy to believe a lie. It's easy to go with lies. It's easy to, to uh, believe it because the truth is going to make you feel a different way that lies won't. The lies make you feel complacent. They give you comfort and, 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 and not knowing, but the truth, you won't have so much comfort. You would want to, to speak out. You would want to, um, you know, sometimes truth can be scary when you aren't know who your, uh, who your, when you don't, not because I know a lot of y'all going to say y'all know who God is, but when you truly know who the one righteous true God is, man, you know, you will know that you don't have much to fear, especially from man that is just like you. You don't have much to fear, even from evil itself. You don't have much to fear. And that's just the truth of it, man. But yeah, stay on, um, stay in prayer, man. And, uh, Whatever gonna happen, gonna happen, man. I hope that y'all who uh, are implicated in this, whoever uh, conspired against bro, I hope that y'all turn around and can turn y'all life to Christ and understand that it could be you, man. And you do not want to die living in um, the sin in which that y'all have uh, committed and, you know, not repent and turn away from it and ask the most high for forgiveness, man. But yeah, it's long enough, man. Love y'all, man. Rest in peace to Vaughn, man. It's sad that this is uh it's, it's it's been a year since he passed, man. It's sad, or not a year? What two years? I can't even remember no more. Cause like, 
so much be happening in such a short time, man. But yeah, man. Um, rest in peace to my boy, man. And y'all stay cool out there.